Okay, this next next one is about how to set up a the remote desktop on a LAN or a local area network. And this would be say uh, you you have a router at your house, you have a computer downstairs, and you have a computer upstairs, and you don't want to run up and down the steps all the time. So you want to use a remote desktop to get to the one downstairs. Uh, we know that the router's IP address is 192.168.1.1 or 0. Um, and we know that the com router will assign computer um, addresses, IP, IP addresses, to the other computers. For example, the first one on the network will probably be 192.168.1.1 and the second one 192.168.101 and on down the line as computers are added to the network. Um, the, one, uh, the one right here is probably going to be your one upstairs and you say you got your router upstairs in your bedroom and here's the one in your basement. To connect from here, from uh, this computer here all the way to here, it, it we need to, to have, if say we're, gonna, we're sitting upstairs and we want to get the one in the basement down here, we need this one's IP address right there. We're going to need this IP address right there. And uh, the way to, to get that would be actually, be, to set it up initially would actually be to walk downstairs and turn the computer on and type uh, run go, uh, go to start menu and type run and then CMD. I'll show you that. So we're going to want to go to the start menu here and I've, I switched the properties on this just so, so you can see this in the video. I went back to the classic start menu but you, it, it's the same thing will work off the regular start menu. Um, but you want to hit your start button, go to the run dialog box, okay, and you'll see it on the other type menu too. And type CMD or CMD in the run dialog box, click OK, and a, big, a console window will come up like that. When the console window comes up, type in IPCONFIG, IP config. Hit enter. And you will see right here, the uh, it says IP address, the first one there, uh, the first set of numbers there, it says IP address. That is the IP address of the computer that the router has given that computer. So you would want to do that one, the one in your basement. And then when you go to connect to it from upstairs, that's the IP address that you would use along with the username and password of the one in the basement and it would work just fine just great next we'll talk about how to connect remotely from outside your house say if you're at the office and need to get to the computer in your house through the internet through the router on the next video so this should take care of the local one for you and if this hasn't satisfied your needs go on to the next one